Okay, so it's going to be really important that you be able to preview your animations um, at the actual speed that they're moving. Sometimes when you have a lot going on in a scene and you press play, what you're seeing is not always representative of how fast or slow things are going. And so the only way to really ensure that is if um, you do what's called a play blast. And so let's first go over to our render settings here. So the first thing we want to do is set up output. Um, so you want to choose a folder that is going to, um, and I'm just going to choose that here. You want to choose an output folder. And so a project folder is um, going to be the best place for that, somewhere where you're already saving your Blender file. And um, we don't have to change file format, um, but we do have some movie formats here. Um, FFmpeg is typically going to be a good option. Um, so if we choose that, under encoding, you can see that there's a format called H.264 automatically um, chosen. And then under container, you want to choose MPEG-4. Okay, and the reason is not a lot of software um, can use this Matroska um, container format. There are a few. Uh, softwares out there that you can get that that can read and play that back uh, but it's just you know a lot more ubiquitous to find mpeg4 players so we're going to choose mpeg4 here in the container everything else is fine um, but now what we can do um, is choose our camera view let's just preview this make sure that's what we want and then we can do um, view viewport render and animation and it's going to render an animation from our viewport so i'm going to click on viewport render and now we can see it's going to go through and our cursor is actually counting up in keyframes right now uh, so it's actually creating the video file here as it plays okay now it's finished at frame 120 and so we can go ahead and view uh, our animation actually let's go ahead and do um, I think it's render view animation. Okay, there we go. And so that's uh, viewing it. it it's uh, a bit of a bug here in this particular window. Um, but if we go to our file here, um, you'll see that uh, here it is on the, I saved it to my desktop, um, but you can see um, the animation is here in a video file that you can play back at the actual frame rate that you're intending it to be. Okay, so if we go over to frame rate, um, typically we want ours to be 24 frames per second, um, and that's what it is here. If you did something like 30 frames per second um, or 60 frames per second, you're getting into really high frame rates. Uh, 24 is going to be the best for anything that's cinematic. Um, and for typically what we do in 3D animation, 24 is going to be um, our best option. So that is how you quickly create a play blast of your animation without having to actually do a render.